How to establish effective governance in your NGO. This video is presented by Funds for NGOs. The term governance meaning to steer is a Greek word. Every institution, be it public, private, or third sector, needs governance to function. NGOs also need good governance for effective functioning, growth and sustainability. The principles of good governance hold true in the dynamic environment the NGOs face today. It is thus advisable for NGOs to follow good governance practices. Though there is no one-size-fits-all approach that can be taken here, but a video for NGOs to put together good governance principles into the structure and functioning is here for your use. 1. Vision, Mission and Objectives An NGO must have well-defined statements of its mission, vision and objectives. These statements define why the NGO was started in the first place. These must be clearly defined, written, and must be revised time to time. Known as the governing documents, the mission, vision, the by-laws and objectives of the organization. 2. Democratic selection. The NGO must have clearly defined and transparent policies for appointing the board of directors. They must be elected by a democratic process. This will ensure transparency, fairness and accountability in the process. 3. Policies and processes for accountability of leadership. The NGO must ensure that accountability of the leadership board is well drafted in the policies. But this is not enough, having a policy is one thing, and having it operational is another. So, the next step is to ensure that functional systems are in place. The board must function to address organizational matters and should play active role in planning. 4. Annual General Meetings The Annual General Meetings AGM, are very important platforms for getting all the key stakeholders together to discuss the journey so far and plan the way ahead. Various important issues like programmatic, administrative and financial, are discussed during the AGMs. To make an AGM successful, the two key things are ensuring adequate participation and frequency of the same. 5. Decision-making systems. The organization must define who makes the decisions. These roles and responsibilities of the board and the management must be well defined and clearly drafted. 6. Policies for staff. The policies and procedures must be laid down for equitable and transparent staff recruitment and compensation, employee retention and HR policies, etc. 7. Audit. NGOs are under the scrutiny of various regulatory bodies and whistleblowers. An NGO must make sure that regular audits are done. These audits can include multiple aspects, like program audit, financial audit, and so on. 8. Annual reports, newsletters, websites. An NGO must ensure that all its stakeholders are much aware of the organizational plans, activities, history and achievements. It must also disclose financial information, board details in the annual reports, newsletter, and on websites as well. 9. A strategic plan. The most important point for an NGO seeking to internalize the good governance practices is to have an action plan derived from the VMO vision, mission and objectives of the organization. The mission and vision statements hold a lot in them, all the dreams with which the organization was started. But until and unless it is articulated in the form of an actionable plan, it would not be able to guide the organization ahead, as it is too broad. Thus, churning of ideas and thoughts, and detailed analysis, resulting to a strategic plan is of utmost importance to ensure good governance. Like, comment, share and subscribe so you don't miss our future videos. Sign up to access more grants and resources.